All right, you guys, we are about to blow out an amazing deer meat for dinner dish right now. It's Tasty Tuesday number three. We've got some backstrap that we've got vacuum sealed. We packaged this on 12, 17, 14 out at the ranch. Looks still, still looks awesome. We've got some shallots, some rosemary, some baby yellow potatoes, sweet cream butter, and some Robert Mondave Cabernet, as well as some fresh organic green beans. So nice whenever you package up the deer meat and vacuum seal it, it just comes out ready to go. We're going to season this with Everglades rub. Tastes so good. Do a nice seasoning. And I've also got some mixed peppercorns. I on a dish like this, the peppercorns really add a lot. Add a lot of flavor, a lot of texture. And I hope you guys know, this is just a, I mean, this is lunch. I've been to office working, so it's not like I have a ton of time. So this is an easy dish. You know, whether you killed the deer or someone gave you a piece of backstrap, trim it up real nice. And uh, this is a dish you'll certainly love. And it doesn't take forever to make. I mean, I'm gonna knock this out in absolutely no time. All right, so I wanna season that pan. I've got three pieces of applewood smoked bacon. I'm just gonna cut into squares here. You do not have to do this, but I want, I want there to be some flavor in this pan. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it in there. Get it nice and hot, sear this bacon, flavor my pan. If you throw meat, even though the meat is seasoned into a, just a clean pan, it'll cook, it'll be good, but not as good if your pan is already seasoned. Nice, get just a little bit of oil in there from the, from the, the bacon. Looking good, and it smells even better. Okay, so now we're gonna put our back straps right in there. And we want it to sear nicely. Okay, so rosemary is gonna be the key herb in this lunch, and I love rosemary. All right, so I just added a little butter and I'm gonna roast these potatoes. Everything that I'm cooking for this lunch is being done right here on the stove top. Toss your potatoes in there. Now your fresh rosemary. We're just gonna sprinkle the fresh rosemary. That's my brother Aubrey. Yo. Hey, no, come by. I'm cooking deer meat for dinner right now. I've got an awesome lunch going that you can come eat with us. Come on over. All right, bye. That's the way we roll over our house. I mean, my brother has actually called and invited Sarah and I to go out to lunch, but we're cooking deer meat, so why would we do that? Now I'll take a little bit of Everglades, regular Everglades, season up my potatoes, let them cook. Let's see what our deer meat's starting to look like. Look at that, look at that sear. Look at that, look at that color. That's what I am talking about. That's beautiful. And I'm making this up as I, <laughs> I'm making this up as I go. I'm always trying something new. I might take a little bit of this bacon and just set it right on top. Just set it right on top. Let it, just let those two spend some time together. Just for, just for the heck of it. Might even dice up. Might put just a few of these shallots in there. I'm just trying to liven this thing up. I'm trying to make this potato party have a good time. Now look, now we've got the, the baby Yukon gold potatoes, fresh rosemary, we've got the shallots, a little bit of sweet cream butter, some fresh cracked peppers, and a little bit of Everglades seasoning. Looks 
like a party, y'all. Turn the heat down a little bit low. And in here, we're going to throw our green beans. A little bit of Everglades. Good, good. Got some fresh rosemary here. But I just want to sprinkle along there. I promise you that's going to be good. Our potatoes are browning nicely. We can go ahead and turn the heat down on them. Green beans, looking good. And I want this tenderloin, I, I want this back strap to have that color. I want that color there. You'll see why. Take some of this bacon, just lay it up top. You just got it because it said Robert. Yep, that's, that's my good friend Robert Mandavi out there in the Napa Valley. This is the uh, Cabernet Sauvignon 2011 collection. It was a wonderful vintage. See all that flavor that's in there? That's what we're going to use to make our sauce. What I'm going to do is take them out and let them rest. You've heard me talk about that before. We want this to rest, relax. Just like that. Now, here's our shallots. Remember that? I'm going to put our shallots in here, about that much should be good, okay, just let that start to cook, mm. all the flavor from the back strap, all the flavor from the seasoning, it's all going to come to life, don't need a lot of oil, just a little bit of that grease from the bacon, it's just going to make this be so, so good, now, we're also going to take some, take some uh, rosemary, just these rosemary sprigs, just throw that in there. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Now I know you're going to think this is a lot of butter, but I'm going to put a quarter stick of butter in there. You're only going to be eating a little bit of the sauce, but what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to create the flavor, I'm trying to create that consistency that I'm looking for. Raise this heat up a little bit. Now. It smells good. Yeah, that rosemary is just awesome. Okay, so now we, you can see the pan. We've got all the flavor. Applewood smoked bacon, rosemary, shallot, sweet cream butter. Red pork. Now. We're hitting the home run ball. A little bit of Cabernet. About that much. And we're just gonna let this reduce. Just let that reduce. Ooh, so much flavor. So, so, so much flavor. And I wanna add just a little bit of fresh cracked pepper, and a little bit of salt. Look at that, y'all. Look at that, that's perfect. Silky. Let that simmer. Break out the good stuff. Now, if that were too rare for somebody, all you'd have to do is throw it in the broiler just for a very little while, and you would finish it to whatever temperature you wanted. But to me, that's perfect. That's about 122 to 127 degree core temperature. At the Arrington household, people just come over, they don't have to call. 
This is my older brother, Aubrey. We call him Brito Mas Grande. You saw him on the Lionfish video. This is the up and coming superstar right here. This is Ashley. Absolutely 100% charisma and I love her to death. That's my awesome sister-in-law, Jane. So, the sauce is looking good. Let's start plating this sucker up. I mean, I don't know. We've, I've probably been in here cooking for a half hour or so. Very little prep, but a lot of flavor. Now, Jenny is G-free. She is gluten-free, and I mean, that's, that's a huge thing these days. Just like that. It's almost like an au jus full of flavor. Backstrap in the fridge, so we ran out in basically a half an hour. Albury, who works, he's the uh, executive director over the Locks Hatchet River District. He's like, Hey, what are you doing for lunch? I'm like, oh, cooking deer meat. So he came over, and Jenny and, and Ashley were out on the paddle board. You know, it's a tough life here in Jupiter, I gotta admit. Mm -hmm. Something's gotta do. So we want to hear what do you think, Albury? Good. Yeah. That's it. Well, y'all, you just got to see basically and fast forward a little, little clip of us eating lunch, and it was really, really good. The potatoes mixed with that sauce was even better than I expected. The deer meat was super tender, cooked to perfection. Not that I mean, I'm saying that it was like the perfect temperature, tender, and uh, what did you think about everything? Amazing. Yeah, and the green beans weren't cooked so much that they were withered and wilted. They were still kind of al dente. They still had a bite to them. And I'm just telling you whether it's lunch, dinner, or whatever, try this one. It really, really, really came out good. And we don't have it yet, but a lot of people, a lot of you guys have been asking about our shirts. We're going to put a link down in the description of the video letting you know how to get your hands on them. We've been super, super busy, but we're making it happen. This is Tasty Tuesday, number three, backstrap. And uh, appreciate you guys for being a part of it. Thank you so much for being a part of our YouTube family. And uh, we'll see you next week. But I believe I'll have a couple more videos later on in this week. Because there's no way you can hit that. No, no. It's okay. Ash, try to hit the the part to the left of the viewfinder or the viewer. What is that called? The lens. The lens. The lens. Hit the lens. Oh, that was. <laughs> that was so oh, close. Was it was close, but close. Oh, we're out. Out.